it's definitely time for us to install the um, engine head 2JZ GE into the block. Uh, everything is set and I have my MLS gasket here from um, Street Pro and it's pretty cool. So let's do it together. First thing we're going to do is we are going to get the the guides and we are going to install on the block. Those guys here, uh, we have one on each side and it just guarantees that uh, this is going to be installed and it's not going to be crooked, right? So um, it's working perfectly. There's a mark here how they were before. I'm not replacing them and this is what we're going to do. We put it in here and what I did was I got a bolt that is um, almost the same size of that and a nut. So I'm going to tie the nut, uh, loosen the nut enough so we can go in there and I can hit this here in without worry that I, I'm going to mushroom this guy. There you go. So when the noise changes, it's all the way there. Let's do the other one. Just be sure that it is straight. Then it goes down. Nice. The next thing is we're gonna get the gasket. So you see here I got a um, MLS gasket. It, it, this is from uh, Street Pro Cometics. Uh, Cometic, I keep calling them Cometics. And so, unfortunately, there is a way to get this wrong. Uh, if you see, the edges have two big holes. So one, this big hole, this is smaller and the other way around there's a big hole and there's smaller right so if you do like this it seems to be correct but it is not so you check this side here there's a hole that's not going anywhere uh, that means that hole is on this side here so you just flip it so look at those the side that has two holes then you can do like this put two holes there two holes here this got to fit there properly, this is going to fit here properly, and that's it, gasket is in place. And this is a thick gasket, definitely you're going to lose some horsepower in there, some horsepower in there, so uh, some uh, compression. So you have a compression, you got to consider what is the compression you are expecting to have. A few days passed by, actually a week. Uh, I put the MLS gasket, you saw all the detail, the layers and all that stuff. I'm going to get the head and put up here now. And oh, so carefully, we're going to get it. I'm going to just set on top and there you go. Now we need to be sure that the dowel pin is aligned which is right in here and the back one aligned right in here there you go now we're going to uh, grab the bolts I'm going to squirt some oil in it and then we're going to put it in here all right so a simple step now the top ones are the intake side and the bottom ones are the exhaust side I kind of kept the order uh, so I could put them back in the same order I took them out of there. Uh, so I'm just going to squirt some oil here. And I'm going to put them in the block. In the head. There you go. So let's, uh, let's get the top ones first. And then we're going to come for the bottom ones. So those are the intake here. I'm gonna drop those. If you are using uh, ARPs or even these ones, uh, the uh, the washers they don't go 
uh, together with the bolt. So bolt, the bolt. I don't know how to say that word. So you gotta drop the washer first, and then you go for the bolt. So uh, the only tricky thing is you might need to use a magnet. So now we're gonna get a M12 serrated bead set or a, a bi -X hexagon or something like that. I don't even know how to say that. So what I'm gonna do, sorry I kicked the, the camera. So uh, there is a sequence that uh, we start like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> I, uh, I got in a paper here. So you have an idea. Um, basically, we're going to start one, and then go up, and then down, and then it keeps going. I think it's a star pattern or something like that. So uh, I'm going to do this in here. So I'm going to start using this bolt. I'm not going to uh, tight. I'm going to slowly just go all the way. One thing I'm gonna do before I start torquing is I'm gonna get a 13 millimeter socket. Uh, I mean, of course, you gotta check which one fits properly, but I'm gonna put a piece of paper and my thing in there, right? So it doesn't keep falling when I when I go upside down. Um, it doesn't need to be the whole way, or there's no rule. It's just you push and be sure that it doesn't come off and uh, I'm just gonna cut so it, it's kind of nicer on the video for you guys but uh, that's pretty much it so we're gonna do 25 foot pound I'm not sure maybe I'll go uh, 12 foot pound and then 25 foot pound and then we gotta do 90 degrees and 90 degrees so that's gonna be a little uh, trickier to show but we're gonna do it so we're gonna set this to 12 and a half foot pound oh gosh there you go oh 12 and a half is the minimum so I might go to 14 I never like to do minimum on the wrench so this was the first one all right So now we need to mark right in the center of every single bolt um, because we need 90 degrees. So you're going to go in any, every single bolt, I'm going to do that in all of them like this. And we're going to do 90 degrees in all of them and then 90 degrees again. So at the end of the day, that line will point this way. How is this supposed to stick? There you go. So I kind of got it. Well, I hope it's good. Um, let's do it. All right, so I don't want to use the torque wrench because I don't know what the, the torque will be. Uh, on the other hand, this is huge, but I'm gonna do this anyway. So we're gonna turn 90 degrees, whoa. 
Okay. I thought it wouldn't be enough, but man, it is a lot. Okay, so we got 90 degrees. Number two. So let me get this straight. 90 degrees. Number three. Here. now you see all the red dots are pointing down and they were pointing that way to the front of the engine so now we're going to do 90 degrees more and they are all going to point going to point that way so we have the two sides they are all the same um, yeah so they're all pointing this way and now they're all going to point it point that way that's finally it head is in uh got a little bit of delay because i lost one keeper and if you don't know what keeper is this this little thing here and when i bought one i bought wrong so it took three days got here it was wrong then i bought from another place uh which i do not recommend i mean it was probably with shipping it was the same price that i would pay a lexus or toyota and Toyota would take three days for the part to get here anyway. They took two days just to ship the part. So yeah, you gotta you gotta be aware when you look at a website you don't know and they say estimate shipping, estimate deliver on whatever day <laughs> that might not be correct. But uh let's leave as it is. I'm gonna put the link of the description in the description of uh, <clears throat> all these tools and the torque wrench and all this stuff that I've been using. Um uh, I am going to assemble the camshaft right now, but this is going to be the next video. So uh, stay tuned, go to the next video. Uh, maybe if you're watching just now that I'm posting it, the next video is not up yet. But um, yeah, it's almost there. I'm excited. Um, don't forget to check out my website. If you are not subscribed, consider subscribing. There's a lot to come. 2020 is going to be full of cool stuff. Uh, Tomorrow I'm going to I'm going to do camshaft right now, and I'm going to do some tuning on this guy tomorrow on the AEM uh, FIC, which I'm not expert either. I'm not expert on anything. So if you're watching me, I'm just a guy like you. If you're not a mechanic, and I'm doing all of this, so if I can do that, you can do that too. All right. You know how it goes, right? Share, comment, like, or like, share, comment, or comment, like. Well. I'll see you on the next video. Rift project.